in the first two games. Oh yeah, I, I called that one. Um, yeah, no, you know, sometimes you, you need to, uh, you know, get whooped a little bit um, to bring you back to reality. I didn't think, you know, we deserved the two, two wins on the, on the road and we, um, we showed you why. Five days between games, was it slow start of concern? Well, I, it was a little bit, you know, so I, you know, I was, I talked about, you know, there's lots going on. Uh, home opener and everybody wants to, you know, sometimes you get caught up in style instead of substance. And we had no substance to our game. I mean, you, you have to play both sides of the puck. You have to eliminate people. You have to manage the puck. You have to be firm on people. And we did none of that. I mean, you can't choose, pick and choose what side of the puck you want to you wanna, wanna play. There's a responsibility on both sides. So I mean, we were... Uh, we were awful in the first, uh, marginally better in the second and the third. We were a little bit better, but you know we almost uh, got ourselves back in there right after we got the second goal. We had a couple good looks, and if we got another quick one. Maybe we could have turned it into a, a, a closer game, but really, uh, in the end, we didn't deserve to be in this game. Similar problems though with your three straight games. Is that enough that it becomes really worrisome to you? Or? Yeah, absolutely. You know, sometimes, you know, as I say, sometimes the uh, it falls on deaf ears until you until you uh, uh, get shown the uh, the right result for your efforts. So I, I, I you know, I, the Coyotes were the better team by by a wide margin today. So we got some work to do. Get some newer guys in the lineup. Um, what were your thoughts on Bird Forsett, Holm, and Grad? Well, um, you know. Yeah, Bergy is, uh, you know, just getting in the lineup. There's, there's nothing special there. Back home, first game ever in the National Hockey League, and you know, he, he was okay. I mean, I, I could blame a lot on our forwards uh, in the first period. And then the, uh, I thought Gratton was actually he was a, a pleasant surprise. I mean, Gratz is a, is a big, big guy who we know is very physical, but he gets around the ice quite well. He made a couple plays. I probably, you know, he hadn't been on the ice uh, since Saturday, so I. You know, I knew I wasn't going to play him a lot, but man, he sure he deserved to play a lot over a lot of the guys that uh, you would think uh, could do a lot more uh, than, than he would. But he was fine, and I'm very, very, very pleased about, about his uh, his game. What's your thoughts on the video to start the game? Had the team seen that? That must have been kind of Which, difficult. Uh, uh, well, they didn't see the the uh, the one uh, with the, uh, you know the Coyote players and. The, locomotive players, uh, but they did see uh, the beaker uh, part, and uh, I don't think it had any effect. It has the same effect on both teams, but, uh, you know, it was sort of, we were caught in the moment, standing there watching, not playing the hockey game, and uh, they did, the game started, and we were still watching. More twist than Iran, you still, they still day-to-day? -day uh, yeah, they're still day-to-day. -day. Uh, I think uh, Horny's probably ahead of, of Marty. Uh, I would say there's a chance for Saturday for for uh, Patrick. Uh, outside chance. Uh, Marty's probably doubtful. Putting Marty on I, uh, IR today just give you some flexibility. That yeah, it does give us some flexibility uh, in terms of the roster, so uh, we may look at that. In the second period, there uh, when you were down, did did was McGratton trying to get a little physical something going there? Yeah, yeah, you know, he's, he was trying to light a spark. We didn't have, you know, we were, uh, we didn't have too many uh, flames going at that point. So, you know, he, he knew he was trying to get something, something going. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Thank you. Thank you.